Good afternoon and happy Thanksgiving to everybody. It's your YouTube streamer Zelos here, and we're gonna be playing some more Stone Block 3. Today we're going to finish up doing refined storage. Last yesterday we started doing processor creation. So today we're finishing that up and getting the actual controllers and everything set up. Probably going to make some more processors and then we're going to hook up everything to the refined storage system so that we have access to all our materials. So without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? Hello, hello. Okay. So, last time we left off, let's go down to the basement, or downstairs anyway. We had the deployer. Uh, why do you have extra redstone? You shouldn't have extra redstone. And where did all my processors go? Unless I picked them up and did something with them, which is entirely possible. Oh wait, no, I threw them in the ovens upstairs. Uh, did I finish them all? Ah, there they are. Okay, so we got all our processors ready to go. It doesn't do that. Anyway, we need these. So take those out. Uh, first thing we need is a controller. And that requires quartz enriched iron, silicon, and a machine casing. So we're going to have to cook up some more silicon. We'll make a bunch of it. I think today, along with fine storage, we're gonna get into Project E because having a um, what's gonna call it energy condenser would be really nice because a lot of this has EMC value, and since there's no silicon chicken. And we have to manually make it all the time. It would be faster just to use a... ...thing to convert silicon straight to, er, from nether quartz. Okay, so... You can go in here for now. We only need one stack of you at the moment. That's all we're going to pull out. Let's put away some things because I don't want my inventory full of junk. So what quest did I fulfill? Uh, all the power ones. And that set off another one. Nice. Although, that was the task part, not an actual fulfillment. Uh, do we have any stone? Probably in here. Eight of those. 
And now we bake the controller. There we go. Okay, so we got the controller. The next thing we need is a drive. So we need a chest. Or a couple of them, actually. Because we're going to make four of these. Okay, then we need some grids. And we're going to make a lot of those. So let's make another stack of these. Or eight of these, anyway. Then we need to make eight of these, so we'll need some glowstone and some quartz. I hack with it. Let's just make a full stack. Okay. And we'll need some glass. Eight should be enough for now. And I think I made a bunch of crafting tables in anticipation of this. Yep. Let's make crafting grids. There we go. And we're going to set all of this downstairs in that corner. We're going to put it over here. So let's put the controller right there. And our disk drives. Put one grid here. And then let's get some cabling. Stone. Okay, that should be enough cable. We don't need these breeders anymore. How far down did I go? I should be hitting the room by now. I went in the wrong direction, which is entirely possible. See where our room is. We're at minus 16. So I should be in this wall somewhere. Minus 12. So I should be right here is where, there we go. Okay, so just have to go this way a little bit. There we 
There we go. Uh, do I have any stone left over? Yes, I do. So we're going to close this off so that we don't have mobs or anything spawning in the walls. That's never a fun experience. side. I just need to get the grid set up there. Hmm. So the next thing I need is some storage. Which means I'm gonna have to make some more basic processors. So let's clean up my inventory a little bit for now and get those started. Let's get a lot more silicon cooking. Processor binding. Silicon is the middle one, and then redstone's the last.
Okay, so we need a lot of processor binding. So let's get a couple stacks of slime and string. One, two, three, four. Should be enough. And let's get redstone. Okay, so all we need is iron and some gold, probably. I don't need engineering ones that badly right now. That's the wrong one. Need the iron way more. a pretty good clip so we'll leave that going for a little bit in the meantime let's see if we can get an energy condenser going so what do we need for that we need an alchemical chest I'm pretty sure so what goes into an alchemical chest we need an obsidian chest, amethyst bronze, which we should be able to get in an alloy smelter or induction smelter, copper and amethyst. Pretty sure we have some amethyst and we might have more over in the crate area. Yep, we got a good stack and a half of it. Okay, so we'll get half a stack of copper. And go downstairs and melt that up. Oh, I don't have any machines yet. That's a problem. Let's 
Luckily, I have this, which will do the same thing. Or not. Okay, we're gonna need machines then. I think that's nickel. Yep. Please tell me you can make Invar. Oh, thank God. That's not the right one. That's the one. Okay, so got to remember, bottom left is the one I need to speed up. make the induction smelter. So we'll need some iron, gold, redstone, tin, copper, I also need a blast furnace, so I'm gonna have to cook up some more stone. Okay, so we need some cobble.
Nope, nope, there. Oh, need a little bit of sand. Okay. Now we can go make that bronze that we needed. Okay, well that's cooking away. We need some iron chests. And glass. Okay, so pretty sure it needed a crystal chest. A uh, dirt chest. Um, one of them needed an obsidian chest, so let's upgrade again. What else do we need? We need these things. We're making those. We got the obsidian. So I need netherite scrap. And I could have sworn I got some of that. I have netherite. I'm positive on that one. Maybe it's over here? No. Did I not get scrap yet? That's gonna be an issue. There is a way around it though. <laughs> I need to get ancient debris somehow. And I can combine basalt with netherite dust to get ancient debris. So if I make a combiner and I get some basalt, which I can igneous extrude. There are ways to do it. Um Hmm, how can I get blue ice from packed ice? I need a zero ring. And that takes dark matter. And to get that, I need a philosopher's stone, which means I need an... Uh, means I'm going to have to go explore another dungeon. I really don't want to do that, because the mobs in there, they hurt. 
They hurt a lot. Oh, this is gonna suck. I thought for sure I had some netherite scrap. Or at least one piece of it. Is there any other way of getting it? Molten debris. Where do you get molten debris from? Melting netherite scrap or debris scrap, which you can get from crushing netherrack. And netherrack, I can only get from going to the nether area. Guess where we're going. I need some hammers and a lot of inventory space, so time to clean up. I swear, it's always something. But for now, my processors are probably done, so we should probably finish up getting our storage system up and running, then go to the nether area and get some netherrack. Yep, it's already on gold. So, we good. Why? Oh. I threw quartz and rich iron on there. Oopsie. Okay. Time to cook these guys. Okay, I should have enough to make a bunch of 64k drives. Okay. So let's get these ones out first. I need to make some more silicon.
Okay. Need three stacks of glass. Quartz and rich. No, we'll have to make some more. Okay, so 4K needs redstone and more of that quartz. Now I need the gold ones. So we can make three of these. Wait, that's not the right thing. That's construction cores. So I got four drives, so that's plenty of space. To start with. Next thing we're going to need is to set up a storage bus on my chicken farm area before we do anything. Uh, so I need two chests, an improved, and destruction and construction. Two chests. Uh, did I put the cables away? Yes. What else do I need? That's it. Okay, so let's make that external storage. Cable from here. And set the priority to like a hundred. Stone. 
Okay, we can see everything. So now we can start shoving pretty much everything into this. right now. And let's break this. Do I have those other grids in here? I just shoved them into the system like an idiot. I probably shoved them into the system like an idiot. Yep. This is gonna make a mess. I love having a refined storage system. It's so nice. Okay. And that probably didn't even scratch how much storage I have available. Nope, not even a little bit. Uh, these guys are all done. that. I think the next thing we're going to want to do is set up a wireless access point. And can we get range boosters? Indeed we can. We're gonna want it centralized, so as close to the center of my base as possible. There we go. Uh, I need some stone.
we can get rid of these. Okay, so we're gonna want a terminal in here somewhere, probably like right here. And then we're gonna want one in my farm area. Uh, let's put you there. So the fun part is routing the cable to each room. side so it should be here So that should be wired up now. Okay, so I got access in here. And then we need to pull one down by the mob spawner eventually. Probably just branch off of this one here and take it down the hallway. Um, these away for now.
Let's make a couple of these. Wait, why am I making diamond? I have netherite. This is going to take quite some time. I forget which one does the really long Not that one. Not that one. I guess they made it so stone doesn't get vein mined. Because I thought I saw in a video for stone block that somebody made like a huge ass tunnel. In. We're going to be here a while. We got a thousand blocks to go. I had an idea. Charging. Okay, so what I need is a mining gadget. Let's make some blanks. Mining gadget. 
and our modification station. And let's make all the upgrades. So we need the magnet upgrade, the 3x3 three three upgrade. light placer so I don't have to keep placing lights everywhere not charging from this. It's got it set right and wireless charging is on. Then I gotta go downstairs and charge it manually and then it'll charge. charge it in this either. That's weird. Something's not right. That's four million, that's one. Okay. Okay, that's charging up. So we'll just keep this battery as a curio. And the battery will charge up everything else. Okay, so then when that's filled, this should start filling up. Okay, and how's that keeping up? Ah, it's keeping up pretty well. So now we can go back. Three by three, max range. That is a lot faster. And I don't have to stop to light things up. 
because it automatically does it for me. I have plans for dungeons and they're kind of ingenious. Not gonna lie. Someone had the good idea to use the mechanism cardboard boxes to stop the spawners. Because breaking spawners takes forever. But you can smack a cardboard box on them and they stop immediately. Oh shoot. Did not mean to do that. You gotta be real careful how you aim this because if you nudge it just a little bit down, it'll start digging downwards. And I really don't want that. Got about 400 blocks to go till the nether ring. And we're probably going to hit mining caves shortly. Limestone. Ah, uh, I freaking hate gravel. Stone.
Hey, a loopy. That should be close enough to get its stuff. Drop your loot. That'd be good too. What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. I will not surrender. I will do my best until I get What the hell is that sound? I don't like it. Whatever it is. Okay, so I can't put luggage in there, so into the trash can you go. Should be hitting another act shortly. Which is basically what we're here for. Another act goes in there. And the site, you can go in there. I need a couple thousand bricks of nether blocks of nether act. We're also gonna want to make it so that the run out here is to put it lightly awful. So we're gonna wanna put like some kind of teleporter out here so that we can get here when we need to. But let's get to the end ring as well.
How am I doing on another act? 2,000, not bad. Probably have like three or four by the time we get to the end ring. in the tunnel, which kind of sucks. of that too because I think there's stuff I need from it. Unfortunately, endstone does not break as fast. Even with efficiency 5. city on the map. Which is not great. I was kind of hoping there'd be one like right here. So my kit that I'm going to need for exploring dungeons is going to be a mixture of stuff. It's definitely going to need a bunch of magnum torches, a bunch of uh, feral flares, uh, quite a few stacks of cardboard boxes. I would like to get a uh, Swift Wolf's Rending Gale or uh, the Arrow Flinging Ring at least. Because that would help immensely. Let's see, anything on the map yet? Nope. I have this awful feeling I'm going to have to dig out like a huge amount just to find what I'm looking for.
Okay, we're almost at 2,000 out. And we've reached the outer ring and there are no end cities in sight, which really sucks. Hopefully we can see a boss dungeon when we get to the outer ring so that at least we know where to get the silverfish, uh, mother silverfish fight. And then we'll head back and figure out what we got on us and try to get some, uh, things going. Probably gonna come back to the nether dungeon and try to get some wither skeletons because that would help me immensely. outer wall. Gonna leave the end. Okay, so we are out of the end. That looks kind of promising there. Hopefully we uncover a dungeon there. Oh, that's just a weird forest. Lush caves, maybe? Uh, just a little bit more and check. Oh no, that is some kind of dungeon. Doesn't look like the summoning one, but it is a dungeon of some type. That's for sure. Be a bit farther out. Let's see what we can see. Spooky. There it is. That is the boss arena. Okay, so we know where it is. Uh, let's head home. And we have stuff to put away. Let's get all these out of here.
The thing I want in here is tools. That should be everything. So we have a bunch of netherrack now. Let's crush this up. Oh great, you can't vein mine these. Oh wait, never mind. J plus. Certainly have enough crushed netherrack. And that should be getting me three scrap. Cool. So we will be able to get um, netherite scrap eventually. If I could only speed this up. 
I mean, might be able to get this connected to this somehow. I did want to clean up this to get rid of the water wheels, make another steam boiler, and then speed this up so I could clean it up and get the thing to make the motors an engine what's this thing okay I need brass sheets and a site I like wools Okay, so I got enough of those. Uh, I need an iron rod or two. And, a, and one of these guys. Capacitor. Four motors. Don't need the brass sheets, the spools, and andesite.
Anything else? Nope, got it all. Cool. And a button. Are you here? Capacitor there. Rod. One more motor, and then we'll replace the water wheels here with motors and wire them up. Best speed for these is like 128. So we need a point. Some cable. Blazing is fine. Uh, let's get a piece some stone. Because after I'm done, I'm just going to seal this up. I definitely don't want to be between those two. Not the way I wanted it to go. got some proper speed to it.
Okay, we got enough for our first piece of scrap. Those things are hauling ass. Exactly what I wanted to see. Oh, don't tell me the only way to melt these is up with blazing blood. Shit. Ah, uh, why you like this? got what some of what we wanted kind of let's put our tools away so we need to figure out some stuff we need to get blazing blood which I think you get from killing blazes with a tool that has a tank on it. That'll be fun. Um, can I melt cobalt? Okay, so cobalt can be melted at that temperature. Good. Let's get some gold. And, uh, cobble. I don't have any cobble in my system anyway. Okay, we need a small blade cast. We need, how do we make a hilt? tool handle so make a tool handle cast and that's pretty much it where's my smeltery oh I never got around to making it that's right uh where do I want to put it I was gonna put it off of this room somewhere but I never got around to doing that. I could put it downstairs. Uh, let's see. I need my not another right ingots. Bricks. I need these guys. My smeltery controller. Get all that out. Okay, so I need drains. Out of those. And a couple more storage controllers.
that much. Uh, this needs the end covered. Okay, so we should have access to all the cobble and everything now, so I can make some more grout. that one I hate when it does that.
is where the drains go. some glass for that. And probably some more of these too would be nice. So I need three more of those and four more of those. I have enough. Three. Uh, then let's get these done. More junk. Let's make a bunch of buckets. dark matter, which I can't do yet. One, two, three, four. Uh, 
Okay, that should be full. Yep. Lava four days. Uh, let's get a wireless terminal. Wireless crafting grid. Where's the wireless crafting grid? Oh, there it is. And link it to my controller. Awesome. So now we can pull things out. So let me get two gold. Bad damage, not great. How many modifiers? Three. Okay, I need that book. I need some kind of tank. an upgrade slot single use so let's make one book and quill wait it requires an ink sack oh god damn it where am I supposed to get ink sacks from 
squid. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to make a squid farm. They're so irritating. And I'd have to dig up to, like, level 64 to get them to spawn in it. Squid spawn egg either. Bugger. Well. Uh, can we do. Yeah, I don't see melting on here. Book with one seared brick. And then Pickers Gadgetry is easy. Molten gold over a book, and that gives you pretty much everything. So let's do that instead. Boom. Book. Upgrades. We need does this not have melting upgrades? Well, let's do the other one. And see if that has any help whatsoever. So we need a seared melter, two buckets of lava, and two blaze rods. Gotcha. Uh, melter. Blaze. Who are you? And lava. Oh, we need the anvil. Bugger. Uh, Tinker's anvil is...
Let's see. So any block of metal pretty much. melting on this now we need some damage so that's gonna be quartz No more modifiers on it. Okay, so now we need cardboard. And that needs sawdust. Which I can get from a pulverizer. Metric buttload of this stuff since I gonna need it at some points. Just gonna make a ton of cardboard boxes, which will make it a little bit safer to run around the nether dungeon.
Okay, they can only stack to 16, huh? That's fine, I'll just keep a bunch in my backpack. Also, let's get barrel flare lanterns. And torches, the magma torch, the mega torch. in there. What's also nice is this will let me grab spawners. So if I really wanted to, I could set up a big ass room with just spawners on them. And go wild with it. Plenty of those. Let's put away this stuff for now. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need those. Definitely gonna need this. Uh, those can go in my system. kind of armor am I rocking? No armor! That's not good. Um, if I go into mechanism, I could probably get uh, refined obsidian armor, which is the best I can get right now. So... Fuser... Get me four of these guys. Crucible, food thing. We'll just start them here. And now I need redstone. Uh, well, all that's working on that. Let's see, what else do we need? Well, we need those circuits first, and we need the upgrades for them as well, because... Won't be able to do much with mechanism without those. Um, I could get 
these pulverizing so that we can get the speed upgrades going as soon as we're ready. I make these. I can't make, well actually I could make these since we have the machine to make the Signalum and the Electrum. Gold. Beat them up a little bit. And while we're waiting, let's make the servo. Oh wait, we need Constantine. Shit. And bronze. Oh, that'll have to wait a minute. Because I don't think I can make the speed upgrades for the machines without... Yeah. I need pounded electrum. Make it because this can turn this into these. Six. Thermal. Speed things along a little bit. Get what I'm making the electrum for. Oh, basically for these. I think. Or for something else, I can't remember. My brain is like scattered as hell. smelter is copper and silver. Silver, copper, and redstone.
move a little bit faster, please. Augment whatever machines we want now. Just gotta wait for this to be done. in there. Okay, get some more coal for that. Get the redstone furnace. I gotta wait for this to finish so that I can run it through again. Steel, and then I need some iron. I did not mean for it to go that far. Eh, 
Anyway, we can make the speed upgrades now. And energy. Not another nitro battery. Oh wait, that's better than this one. I'm gonna drain the fuck out of my bad my power supply though. Ooh. Big oof. leave that alone there because I really don't want it draining my power right now and it's got enough juice in it to charge my stuff for a while so it's fine uh, put that there get rid of this get rid of those I need some iron again so we can make steel casings. Then we need an enrichment, enrichment chamber. A smelter. Sure. Let's get a couple more of those installers. some more of those things so we need a lot of redstone thing. Uh, 
there. Two, three, and energy. Not quite enough yet. Iron to make some more of those. Okay. Um, I was doing this for some reason. I can't remember what it was. Holy shit. Exchanging gadgets, nice. Stone packs will have no use for. The laser lens I could probably use for something. Don't need the seared bricks. Yeah, we'll put that. All right, let's put that in my toolbox. A starter magmator. Okay, so now I need obsidian. want a surplus of those. I need diamonds. That my power can keep up with that is insane. Okay, so we got plenty of refined obsidian. Uh, then we need an osmium compressor. Dollar. Then we need speed. And energy. Osmium. I gonna need another chunk of that.
Okay, so now we can make the armor. So that's 12 tough. That's a lot of armor. Uh, can I make a shield? I should be able to block the projectiles from, uh, Nasty little bastards. Okay. And then let's enrich the rest of these. right now okay the other thing I was going to do was set up some way to teleport out to my tunnels because walking it is fucking long so we need matter transmitters booster. Uh, dialing device. Uh, tele... What is the name of that thing? Uh, Advanced charge border. Okay, where do we want to put you? Let's put it like right here. Cables. Okay, that is getting power, so good. Dying device. Let's call this home out. And this one I'll just label home. Stone go. Okay, I won't need the 
energy cable. This I'm gonna keep on me. Same with this. Can I make a torch launcher? Infinity launcher, not what I'm looking for. Okay, let's move. We who are about to die salute you. I can just tell this is going to end so badly. We're gonna put feral flare lanterns all over the dungeons that we're gonna look at to make sure that nothing spawns from the spawners. Some of the spawners still run even with light, like the any nether creature spawner is gonna run no matter what, which kind of sucks, but can't really do much about it. Take a look at our map and see what level they're at. It looks like Tonight we're gonna make you move. negative fifty-five. going to be different readings on different... Yeah, I'm thinking 55. So... We'll figure that out later. Actually... Let's go home. Get some elevators. Make some more. Okay, so does negative fifty five? Torches in here? No. All right, yeah, I did. Thank you. 
Okay, we also want to put a Mega Torch down. Let's chunk load this area. That way the Feral Flare Lantern will work while we're away. Teleporters here. Uh, this one is Stone Dungeon. I hate that you can't rename them. It's kind of annoying. There we go. Okay, so let's continue onwards with that work for a while. Hopefully it'll keep the mobs from spawning and then we can come back and clean up. Spawner Dungeon 2 eventually. anything for something that affects your running speed right now. Luckily, after we get these teleporters set down, we won't have to deal with it. down. And we should be above one of the dungeons. Or is, actually, let's check if I have to go up or down. That is up. Never mind. Let's get our nether act back. So how are we going to do this? Because I did not think to bring ladders. 
Well, let's get this set down. Straight up with my laser. to add one down here. Okay, we're at 40, so we gotta go up another 20. Oh, we're hitting the dungeon now. There's lava up there. Luckily I have the freezing upgrade on this or it would have been a bad time for me. Um, let's put that on my bar.
let's put down one of you. And then we're gonna put this here. Let that force load the stuns in for a while. Now let's go home. Give it a few minutes to light that place up sufficiently. Damn it, I don't want your stupid stick. The other dungeon that we just went to, the stone dungeon should be somewhat safe right now. Go to there. Seal those up immediately. Uh, let's get you covered. Put another one down. Stuff is worth taking. Okay, this is very much a dead end. So not a big deal if I leave it. Let's put another one of these. Okay, 
I don't want venom on this. Let's stay away from there until it gives it enough time to light it up. Let's try going this way since it's already lit. Oh, that's fun. Uh, no thank you. I'm just going to place blocks. Because I know how this goes. I try to jump across and I die painfully. down, let you light that area up, and check this for any treasure, not seeing any, Can I get that one, yes, how are we doing with lights over here, okay, it looks pretty well lit, we're still going to cover that spawner. Ah, uh, sure, we'll take budding amethyst. Definitely take dark matter. Uh, none of the other stuff is worth taking. Trash can. I don't want this or this. Or that. Or that. Put the spawners. Don't really need this tile wall. the trash you go. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in this direction worth taking. Although, bookcases. Yes, please. I am being exceedingly safe in this dungeon as much as I possibly can. Okay, we shut down that one. Oh, there's a silverfish spawner. Probably this one. Is it under the ground somewhere? If it is, I'll be exceedingly pissed off. I don't see it, but it could still be there somewhere. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't see a spawner there, so I think I got it. This one's gonna be a drowned spawner. Take a source gem. Don't know what it's for, but I'll take it. Music disc, sure. Anything on the ceiling? Okay, glow ink sacks. I need regular ink sacks. Okay, put junk away. Uh, books. Don't need the elevators right now. Scratch those. Don't need the redstone either. Let's see what we got from our chest. Another oh, record. Cool. that in there. Uh, any more sneaky chests in here? I don't see any, so... Onwards! Oh, did I put a... No, I didn't. Put that there. Trying to light up that area. And I could probably speed this up a little. that area up. Let's see. Alchemical bag I will definitely take. More storage is always welcome. Uh, is there another one in here? I'm not seeing one, so I'm going to guess that there's not. Let's see. Get some of that. I'll take a milk bucket, why not? That witch despawn. Hardboard box of you. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Okay, crossbows, junk. So is everything else in there. Well, mana ingot I'll take. Um, any sneaky chests in here? Shitbag. Knock that off. Ah, 
get some food. I already looked in there. That's a lot of amethyst. If I really needed it. Zombies are the worst. Okay, they hurt a little bit. Ah, oh, you little bastard. You let my lantern. Don't need grass seeds, don't need oak saplings. I do need that apple though. Uh, and now I have a use for this. Um, yeah, ooh, flax. That's kind of handy. Uh, let's put my shield on so that I can actually block some arrows, maybe. Darbuncle shards? Well, I'll take it. Don't know what it's for, but I'll take it. Thank you, skeleton. Did not know you could block explosions, but sure. Uh, dark matter. Here. I need the 
Ryan's box is back. Uh, is there anything in here that I need? No. Okay, anything hidden away in the ceiling? Nope. Well, there is one up here. Rabbit's foot, definitely. Because that'll let me get fortune on stuff from Tinkers. And we're going to put another one of you down just in case. Okay, if that's a summoner goot, dude, we are in trouble. Those guys are the worst of the worst. Yep, he's summoning shit. That's not good. I'm going to be sneaky about this and place one of you down. Light that whole area up. Thank you. And I'm going to teleport home. What stuff despawn there for a while and drop off. Kind of made out like a bandit. Do dark matter. Couple spawners. Potatoes. said I'm being very slow and methodical and safe with my dungeon delving because those places are so scary. Loaded. That would be a problem. That is indeed an invoker. Yeah, 
He's gonna be able to summon those little bastards before I can kill him. Oh wait, that's a Vindicator. He's not a summoner. Good! Because they're the worst. Kill that spawner. Is there any spawners over here? No. A potato cannon. Uh, more mana steel. I'll just take the record. Spawner. Is there another one anywhere? Whenever I see these pressure plates, I don't trust what's underneath. Whoa, that is a lot of emeralds. I'll take the apples. Watch your homegrown vegetables at your enemies. Ugh. This should be well lit enough. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Got it. Yeah, let's place another one here. There. Uh, I don't need that. That I might use. Those I need. Some food. What are these things? Oh, they're beehives. Okay. So fish, anything? Nope. More silverfish. That's the end of this wing. Although there was that drowned area. And there might be something there. Dark matter. Yes, please. And 
two more. I'm getting really lucky here. So XP. And I'm not seeing anything else. That is nice that there's another drown spawner. If I should need it. Hey, that's a ladder to nowhere. That room doesn't go off anywhere. Neither does that one, but I can hear mobs on the other side of that wall there. This goes nowhere. It's looking like we got most of this place very well lit. Uh, did I get this one? No, I didn't. Mobius fuel. Ooh, bacon. Take a name tag. Of course, for sure. Oh god, that's bad. That's really, really bad. each other. wait till they despawn because well they won't <laughs> fucking bitch ah and now i got vexes just Flying all over the place over there. And phantoms. That place is all kinds of nasty. Um. How am I gonna get rid of all that? It wouldn't let me cardboard box that spawner either for some reason. And I don't know why. Well, I can run in there and put down a feral. Time to go. Let it light that place up. And wait out the despawn timer on those guys. I guess. I really don't 
seem to want to despawn. Get down here, you swooping little shit. That summoner there is going to be an issue. Not the spawners are inactive, hopefully. Oh good. The phantom spawner doesn't give a shit. What, is that just like a medley spawner? They take out my goddamn limb. Spawner sucks. Like, really, really bad. Can I nail it with my laser, maybe? It's worth a shot. You're in my way, you little bastard. And they don't give a fuck about my shield.
Well, this is suitably awful. But I've been streaming for three and a half hours. It's my wrapping up point, so I'm going to call it here. If you liked what you saw, be sure to follow or subscribe or hit the like button. One of those things. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.